sharing. There we go. Okay, so welcome to our heart practice today. So a lot going on in the world and we're all feeling it. The collective consciousness, especially in the US, feels really heavy. So I thought um, it would be nice to hold some space for, for all these feelings and, and our hearts. So let's begin by sitting down and closing our eyes. All right. And uh, I was gonna ask if you guys have pillows close by that for the end, you might want a couple pillows. It's not necessary, but if you have a couple pillows, then we'll use them um, to lay on. But if not, do not worry. So let's start by closing our eyes. And let's place the hands flat on your knees, palms facing down. Closing the eyes, beginning to draw your attention into yourself. So this is an hour that we don't need to get anything done. We don't even need to get this practice done. We're, we are inviting ourselves to be present with what is exactly as it is. We are becoming present to what's present within us, in our hearts, our thoughts. And we're inviting everything present in this moment to come closer to us rather than pushing it away. We'll wait, wait for Domi to settle. So finding a comfortable seated position if you haven't yet. Allow your, your attention to draw inward from your day and to forget about your day. Let everything go, anything you still need to get done. Let it go. Anything that you've gone through today, let it go and be present with what is right now. And just notice your emotional body. What are the feelings, the emotions present in you in this moment? How do those feelings feel in your body? How do they affect your body? Do they tense up the shoulders or the jaw or the mental activity becomes negative or intense or very active? How are, you, how are your feelings affecting you? How does the collective consciousness feel on you? And now I invite you to draw your belly in. So we're gonna use two locks today. We're gonna use the, the belly. We're gonna draw it back towards the spine. So that's gonna keep the breath from moving down into the pelvis. And we're going to begin to accumulate the breath and the prana that's riding on the breath in the heart space. So very methodical practice. We keep the belly drawn in. We take a breath in through the nose. And we fill the heart with breath. And then exhale. We breathe in, keeping the belly in towards the back body. Fill your heart with breath and exhale. And do that a couple more times. Belly stays in, breathing in, filling your chest, your heart. 
and exhaling. And the last one, and then we'll add on to that. So now we're gonna add on the chin lock that we're going to use throughout the practice. So the belly lock, Uriana Banda, and the chin lock we're going to add, which is Jalandara Banda. And we're also going to add pauses after inhale. We're going to retain the breath after the inhale. So keeping your belly in, take a breath into your chest. Hold the breath and bring your chin down slightly so the chin is parallel to the earth. You don't need, be, need to be touching the chest with your chin, just parallel to the earth. And then exhale all the breath out. And now keeping the belly in, take a breath into the heart. Hold the breath, keep your awareness in the heart. You might begin to feel or see light. And then exhale. So the chin is keeping the breath from moving or the energy into the head. We're going to focalize the energy in the heart. Let's do a couple more of those. So belly in, breathe into the heart. Hold the breath, hold your awareness. Where attention goes is where the energy follows. So holding energy at the heart and exhale. And one last, breathing into the heart. Bring the chin down slightly, hold the breath. And exhale. And now take a moment to feel the heart. So we have our spiritual heart that's there supporting us through the ups and downs of life, always in a constant state. And there is our human, our physical heart, where we're feeling all of the ups and downs of life, all of the emotions. So take a moment to tune in, although it might feel confusing, to what the spiritual heart might be, that opening into the essence of who, who you are. And it's not related to how you're feeling in the moment, but your spiritual heart, the spiritual heart, that opening into your being. Good, and now if you'd like, you can open your eyes. And let's take the arms overhead, inhaling. And we're gonna twist towards the right. So bring the right hand behind you like a second spine and you can make a pyramid with your hands so the fingertips are on the ground. And take your left arm, cross it over to the right knee. And now open that right shoulder back. Take your gaze back to the right shoulder and feel the right shoulder blade pressing forward on the right side of your chest. And now keep the belly in and fill your chest with breath, relaxing the shoulders down. So the chin is slightly down. So we're using Jalandara Bandha and Uriyana Bandha, the belly lock and the chin lock. Taking big breaths into the heart. Continuous breath. And if you'd like to go a little deeper into your twist, move organically into your body through the exhale. So as the body exhales, you slowly use your fingers and your hands to take you deeper into the twist. And let's come back to center with both arms up into the sky, taking a big breath in, stretching out of your waist, out of your hips, and take it to the other side. Right arm crosses, left arm behind you, so make sure the left hand is all the way back behind you and kind of touching your, your thumb is touching your tailbone a little bit, close to your tailbone. So fingertips on the earth, your palm is lifted, making that little pyramid with your hand, taking your gaze to look over the left shoulder and drawing your belly in towards your spine. As you breathe in, filling your chest, as you breathe out, emptying your lungs completely. Breathing with awareness. It's all we have to do right now, nothing else to figure out. 
And if you are used to practicing with Ujjayi sound, you can slowly close the throat a little bit, creating that hissing sound, the Ujjayi breath at the back of the throat. But we're still breathing in and out through the nose. And let's come back to center with the arms raised, inhaling. And exhale, hands back down. Let's come to hands and knees. So hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Separate your fingers so the middle finger is straight forward. Good, an inner rotation of your arms. If your arms are very um, flexible, maybe you're, you're seeing the eye of your elbow. So turn the, the arms into an inner rotation a little bit. Now let's let the belly drop and the heart drop in between the arms. Stretch the chin forward, taking your tailbone and sit bones up to the sky, taking a breath in cow pose. And now cat, it's like the angry cat, pushing the floor away, rounding your back. Push your hands into the earth, the knees into the earth, and inhale into cow. And exhale, push the floor away into the angry cat. So cat-cow movement, and follow your own breath. Inhale and exhale at your own pace. Inhale to arch, exhale to round. Three more. So softening your spine, the area around the shoulder blades, the chest, the neck. And as you exhale, draw that belly in towards your spine, squeezing to the back body. And the last one, inhale up. And exhale to round your back, chin towards the chest, stretching the back of your neck. Good. Now let's open the knees out to the sides, toes touching, and come sitting on towards your heels. Now stretch your arms forward, and now lift your butt off of the ground, off of your heels a little bit, your butt. And stretch your, your fingers forward, your elbows are lifted off of the ground. And now take a breath up here, and as you exhale, bring the heart towards the earth. So I call this the pulsing anahata. So inhale to lift away from the earth a tiny bit, and exhale to move the heart towards the earth. You can be looking forward, inhale, you lift a, a little bit. So it's this organic pulsing where the inhale lifts you, like you're moving out of the pose a little. And the exhale takes you deeper into the earth, opening your armpits, the chin is stretching forward. Just follow your own breath here, organically moving into that openness of the chest on the exhale. <sighs> Good, and let's do it one more time where we bring the heart towards the earth. And if you're kissing your heart to the earth, take a moment to feel that, kissing the earth with your heart. And then slide forward into a baby cobra. Elbows are under, hands are under the shoulders, and elbows are hugging the sides of your body. Stretch the toes back, you're, you're on the tops of your feet, your legs are engaged, forehead on the ground. So let's take a breath and come up into a baby cobra. And today, different than yesterday, we're gonna push the floor, so we're gonna use the arms. Lift yourself up even higher, but keep your elbows bent, and that's really important because you wanna use the elbows to draw your shoulders back. And now feel the collarbone spreading and the upper part of your spine lengthening up into the crown of the head, the crown of the head lengthening up to the sky, and now Jalandhara Bandha, where we're keeping the chin parallel to the earth. So you're moving your chin back slightly and down slightly. And now let's keep the belly in and breathe into the heart. And exhale, three breaths here. So two more on your own, breathing into the heart. Exhale. It's pretty strong on the arms, on the heart, the spine. 
One more breath. And exhale all the way down, forehead to touch the earth. And now move back into child's pose. Open your knees, toes touch, and stretch your spine. Take a moment now to feel the front of your heart and also the back, the shoulder blades, the front and the back of your body. Good, and now let's come into downward facing dog. So in down dog, we're lifting the knees off of the ground. Look back at your feet and place your, the outer edges of your feet parallel and your feet are hips width apart. Now look forward at your hands and spread your fingers like big stars. The middle finger is straight forward and press every single finger into the earth. Feel that connection to the earth right now. And now move the chin towards your chest and let's bend the knees slightly. So as we push the floor away with our hands, let's bring the heart closer to the thighs. Moving into the body on the exhale, going closer to the thighs. Now take a breath and straighten your legs as far as you can. So wherever you're at, your legs do not need to be straight if that's not where you're at with your hamstrings. If your legs are straight, engage your kneecaps so the kneecaps lift, the quadriceps engage. Now keeping that heart moving towards the thighs, the shoulder blades moving down your back. So we're softening in the neck. And now let's see if we can take those sit bones up to the sky a little more. The chin is naturally looking back at your knees or at your belly button, and that's an organic Chalandara Bandha. So let's see if we can keep our belly in here and take a breath into the heart. One more breath, belly in, breathing into the heart. So we're bringing, bringing prana, life force, we're storing it, we're accumulating in the heart. And now, let's walk our feet forward towards the hands. Your feet are hips width apart, and grab your opposite elbows and just hang over your thighs. You can bend the knees a little bit if you'd like here. And just find your breath, all that matters in this moment. The thoughts are there, the emotions, the feelings. And you're becoming more and more alert to everything without being in it. More attentive to the breath. You're more present in the body, in the moment. And now let's bend the knees and let go of the arms. Keep the chin into the chest and let's round up to standing. So let the arms hang as you gently round, feeling that stretch, nice stretch along the spine and the last thing to come up is your head. And let's roll the shoulders back a couple times. So our shoulders forward and then back several times and then keep your shoulders dropping down. So the front of the chest is open, the collarbones are spreading, the tailbone is descending and your heels pressing down into the earth. All right, we're gonna step the right leg back really big. So it's like four feet apart. So we're gonna do a dynamic warrior one, but we're gonna do something different with the arms. So let's open really big, the right leg back, left leg forward, hands to your waist, and let's bend the left knee just to measure here. So we wanna see that the left he knee is right over the heel, but that knee is never in front because that's a lot of pressure for the knee. It can be behind or over. So that's a good stance for you. And then straighten your left leg. We're gonna start with the hands on, on the heart. We're gonna rem remember to bring that belly in, keep it in. And now as you breathe in, open your arms and fill your chest as you bend your knee into that warrior one. As you exhale, bring the hands to the heart and straighten your left leg. We're going to count to four to inhale. Moving in, one, two, three, four, and exhale out of it gently. Three, four, and we'll count to four. Inhale into it, 
three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, two more, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, and the last one on your own. Let's go into it now with the arms overhead. Inhale, and we'll stay in warrior one. So relax the shoulders. You can even bend the elbows if you'd like, just so you're soft in the shoulders. And now let's keep that chin parallel to the earth, slightly drawing down for Jalandhara Bandha, the belly drawn in, and big breath in. Your right hip is moving forward, so your hips are square to the front. The right knee is moving back powerfully away from the earth. The right thigh is lifting away from the earth, and the tailbone is drawing forward. Filling your chest with breath. Two more breaths. Good, let's interlace now the hands behind your back. And this is humble warrior. So bringing your forehead towards the earth on the inside of your right foot, reach it down towards the earth as far as you can. And now draw the chin to the chest at the end. Take your knuckles up to the sky. So you're vowing your head towards your heart. You're acknowledging your feelings. You're acknowledging everything the tender things that are going on in the world. We're vowing to the heart. And let's come back to warrior one with the arms stretched up into the sky. Straighten your left leg and then step your back foot forward and pause at the center. Relax the shoulders and now I invite you to close your eyes for a moment and just feel the presence of the heart with all this prana that we are activating and accumulating in the heart. Sometimes we feel it as light, that energy, or we feel it as sensation or as warmth or just a presence because we, weren't, we didn't have our attention there before. Good, and let's step now the left leg back, right leg stays forward, hands to your waist. So we get to measure now, your hips are move, moving forward. So they're square. Good, and then once you've measured, you straighten the right leg, hands to the heart. And let's take a breath and we move into it. Belly is in very methodically moving the breath in the heart and coming out of it. And now we count to four, take a breath. One, two, three, four, moving into your pose, exhaling a one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four, chin parallel to the earth, exhale, one, two, three, four and two more on your own moving with your breath counting in your mind the attention is in the heart and we move into it with the arms stretched up soft in the elbows Draw the shoulder blades together on your back, chin stays down, and now we fill the heart with breath. Tailbone moving down and forward, your left leg fired up, you're the knee moving away from the earth, the left thigh completely moving away from the earth. Honoring the heart. Good, and now let's interlace the hands behind our back and into humble warrior where we bring the forehead towards the earth, lifting your knuckles up to the sky and now chin towards your chest, vowing your head towards your heart. So the tendency here is that the butt is gonna stick out. 
Tuck your right sit bone in towards the center line of your body, in towards the left sit bone. So the right hip draws in towards the left. And then let's take it all the way up into that warrior one with arms stretched up. Amazing, and exhale, step to the front of the mat. Good, and just pause for a moment. Giving space not only to our feelings, but to what's going on to the collective consciousness, space for everyone to feel, to be in this moment. Good, and now we're gonna take again the right leg back, this time for warrior two, a dynamic warrior two. So this time the hips open out to the right, but we keep that inner rotation in the right leg. So the right thigh is not turning out, but it's turning in. So let's measure again, find your warrior two, make sure the knee is over the heel. Amazing, and stay there in your warrior two, slide the right hand down the right leg, left arm up into the sky, and let's move back into a reverse warrior, taking a breath. As you exhale, extended warrior, left elbow to the left knee and right arm overhead. Stretch from the right heel all the way to the fingertips. And again, three times, behind you, into that reverse warrior, keep bending into the left knee, exhale, right arm forward. Two more times, inhale, reverse warrior, exhale. One more, breathing in, and exhale. This time we hold it. Extended warrior, so left elbow is on the left knee. Bend down into that left knee so the left thigh maybe comes parallel to the earth. Now let's bend the right elbow into the cactus elbow and let the right elbow become heavy as it pulls you back behind you, turning that right shoulder back. Maybe the chin, your gaze looks up but the chin stays down. And feel the right shoulder blade, the heart, the front of the heart, the back of the heart. And let's stretch the right arm overhead again. And come all the way up to standing. This time, let's bring the feet parallel. And turn the feet to the other side. So the right toes point back, left toes turn in. Inner rotation of that left femur bone, hands to the waist, and let's bend into the right knee. So now make sure your spine starts in the center, not forward, not back. You're sitting down into your hips. Left hand slides down your left thigh and the right arm up into the sky. Reverse warrior, breathe in. Exhale, right arm to the right knee, left arm all the way forward. Good, inhale all the way back. So bend into the right knee even more. Exhale. Two more on your own. Breathing in, moving with your own breath. Ah, oh, this feels good. And then extended warrior, we hold it. And let's bend the left elbow and let that left elbow feel heavy, like it's pulling you back. So you begin to take that left shoulder back even more. Maybe your gaze looks up. The chin stays down towards the left shoulder. Keep bending into the right knee. And now feel the front of your chest and the back. And straighten the left arm again, extended warrior. And come all the way up to standing. And then relax your shoulders and then walk your heels closer to each other. Whew. So let's turn the left toes again to the front. Right toes in for triangle pose, trikonasana. I love this pose. So let's start with the left arm up and the right hand on the waist. 
taking a breath, but engage your quads. So when you go into it, we're not overextending the left knee. So engage your quads, strong legs, left arm up. And exhale, lengthen through the left waist and let the left hand reach down below the knee. So if you're gonna use the hand to place the weight of the body, just don't do it on the, on the knee. You can do it on the shin, on the ankle. You can even do it on the earth. But if you're touching the earth and then your butt's sticking out, then I'd rather you come up and tuck that tailbone under so the front of the body is opening. Let's stretch the right arm up into the sky, taking a breath, rolling that upper shoulder back. And again, let's find that cactus elbow. So letting the elbow drop behind you. Maybe your gaze goes up into the sky. And let's see if we can keep the belly in and fill the heart only with breath. And now reach the hand behind you so you bring it over onto the thigh. So you're taking the right arm behind you and you're hooking maybe the thigh. And now take the right shoulder back. Even more. And let's release the right arm up, taking, all, taking it all the way up to the sky. Now micro bend at the left knee and come up, pressing down through the feet. And relax. Let's turn the feet parallel for a moment and go to the other side. Right toes point straight back, left toes in, inner rotation of that back thigh. Left hand to your waist and right arm up into the sky. So let's inhale, strong legs and exhale, lengthen. So the tailbone is drawing into the body, the right arm drops, and find what feels right for your body. The legs are straight. So if you can't go all the way down, just stay up like this. This is wonderful, wherever you're at, but it's better to feel more aligned. And then the left arm comes up, and then you can look up at the fingertips with the chin drawing towards the left shoulder. So the left, so the neck is long. And then becoming, creating that left um, elbow bending, creating that cactus elbow. Opening that left shoulder back even more. And then if you'd like, reaching back and bring your fingertips forward onto the right thigh. Breathing deeply. And let's take the left arm up into the sky. Micro bend at the right knee. Press down through the feet to come up. And release the arms, feet parallel. Ah, so let's bring our feet together. We're gonna balance a little bit. We're gonna start with a pretty, the most, the easiest balancing pose. Uh, Vriksasana, tree pose. So for balance, what's helpful is to focus your eyes on a point that's not moving in front of you. And then take the weight of the body to the right foot and engage your right leg. So the quad is engaged, the kneecap is lifting. And then when the whole right side is lengthened and you feel the core engaged, then you can bring that left foot up. So anywhere along the leg except the knee, even the toes on the earth if that's what you need to do today. So wherever that is, now let's press the feet and the thigh towards each other in towards the center line. Bring the palms together into Anjali Mudra. So you're spreading your toes. Feel all four corners of your right foot pressing down into the earth. Your gaze is on your drishti, your point that's not moving. And if you feel stable, you can try taking your arms overhead. Let the shoulders relax down and the heart open. And if we want to play a little bit, we can bring the left hand to the left thigh. And imagine there's a lot of wind coming from the right and you're tilting towards the left with a wind. We're just playing, so this might throw you off a little, it's fine. 
Opening that right side of the body and come back to center. Maybe palms meet overhead. And then hands down to the heart and release. And you can shake your legs or your right leg. Let's shift to the left foot. So find your drishti where you're, with your gaze. Engage your left thigh. The kneecap lifts. Spread your toes and feel all four corners of your left foot pressing down. Now engage your core and from that core, from that length on the left side, draw the right leg up wherever you'd like. We're opening that right hip. And now press the right foot and the left thigh towards the center line together. Hands to Anjali Mudra. Focus your eyes on your drishti and find your breath. Now draw the belly in towards the spine and fill your heart with breath. Feel the back of the body being filled with breath as well as the front of the chest. And if you feel stable enough, you can take your arms overhead. Shoulders relaxed down, shoulder blades moving closer together, heart opening. Chin parallel to the earth. And now there's a lot of wind coming from the left and it makes our tree tilt. So we bring the right hand to the right knee and we take the weight, the body towards the right. Whoa. And we are still breathing. And we come back to center with the arms overhead, palms together. And bringing your hands down in front of the heart as you slide your right leg down and release. You can shake your legs. So let's try another balancing pose. So the right leg again, this is dancer pose, Natarajasana. So the weight of the body to the right, find your drishti. So the way we grab our foot is from the inside. So I'm gonna, I'll bend my knee and then from the inside. So from the arch of your foot is where you'll grab your foot. So bending, find your drishti, bend the left knee and grab your foot from the inside, from the side of the arch. Stretch your right arm up into the sky, taking a breath. And then as you exhale, move the upper body forward and at the same time, press the left foot into the left hand. So you're balancing, bringing the upper body parallel to the earth, lifting the left knee away from the earth, pushing the left foot into the left hand. Find your breath and then slowly coming out of that. Whew. Let's do the other side. So left foot down, strong standing leg and bend the right knee, grabbing your foot from, your in, from the inside. Left arm up into the sky. Strong standing leg and focus your eyes. Take a breath on the exhale. Move into the pose, the upper body coming forward, lifting the right knee away from the earth. Push the right foot into the hand. Make sure not to overextend in your standing leg so there's a tiny micro bend and your hips are square to the front. Slowly coming out of it. Ooh, amazing. And now interlace your hands behind your back. Feet hips width apart. Take a breath, look up at the sky. Exhale, fold over the legs. If you'd like, you can bend the knees or not and then bring your, your interlaced fingers over the head, forward as far as you can. And now the sternum, lengthen it towards the toes. So that's gonna create a lengthening in your upper body, your upper back. Breathing deeply. Let's move, if your legs are straight, 
Your quads are engaged. Let's move the weight forward to the toes, getting a little deeper into the back of your legs. Shake your head, yes and no. Make sure you're soft. Good, and then slowly release the hands down. Bend the knees and then walk yourself back to down dog. Stretch one side of the waist and the other one. And then we're gonna bring the knees to the earth and prostrate. We're gonna lay on the earth, belly on the earth, forehead on the earth, palms stretched in front of you, palms together, and just prostrating to your heart. Prostrating to life. We're holding space for these things to happen in the world. And my impression is that things will get even more intense. And all for the awakening of the human race. Pain, suffering. Moving deeper into our own hearts. Allowing all the old structures to fall and that will create suffering in some people. So we hold space as we might know what's the deeper underlying cause of everything going on. The planet, our history, hopefully trying to align itself with truth, hopefully, hopefully. Good, and then slowly, let's open our eyes. And we're gonna take the right leg forward. So coming onto hands and knees, let's take the right leg forward towards the hands. And we're gonna stretch the left quad. So we're gonna come onto the front of the left knee. So it doesn't, uh, it just, it's less sensitive than the rest, the other part of the knee. And then walk yourself up to the right knee and grab hold of your left foot with your left hand. So if you're tender there, if it's still tender, you can also fold your mat like this, or if you have a blanket, you place a, a blanket. Or you adjust and you place it even more forward on the front of the knee. And if you feel balanced here, and if you can, if it's comfortable for you, bring the right arm to hold the left foot as well. And now tuck the tailbone under and feel how the upper body lengthens as you do that. So you tuck the tailbone under, the upper body lengthens, and now draw the belly in, and we're gonna fill that heart with breath again. Draw the shoulders back, shoulder blades closer together. And now we're gonna hold the breath after inhale. So fill your heart with breath. Hold. Exhale. You can bring the, maybe the heel closer to your butt if it feels right. Two more times, inhaling. Hold the breath, the awareness in the heart. Exhale. Wow, so much prana accumulated. One more. And exhale. Release the left foot. Walk your hands down to the inside of your right foot. And now if you'd like, you can stay here or you can bring the elbows down to the earth. So your hips are square to the front. And you can close your eyes and just let your head go and palms can be together. Beautiful prostration pose, very humble. Feels like we're praying. You can pray if you'd like, if you need it. It's just beautiful poses that are so gentle that they take us into the heart. When the ego feels too loud, maybe you can try one of these poses just to offer the ego up to the heart. 
Good, and now let's bring the right knee back. And we're gonna come into a nice deep back bend, Ustrasana, camel pose. So for this one, if you don't have a blanket, you will wanna fold your, your mat here in the middle for padding under your knees. Let's try Ustrasana. So your knees parallel, under, right under the hips, parallel to each other. And now in, bring your hands behind you so the fingertips are pointing down. Your pinky fingers are touching, maybe. And now draw the shoulders back. So what that does, brings the shoulder blades together. There's a beautiful support for the heart where the heart will rest on. The last thing that we'll, we will let go of is the head. So keep the chin down. Tuck your toes under. And now imagine you have a wall in front of you and you're kissing that wall with your hips. So you're not letting your hips drop back. So let's begin to draw the shoulders and bring them over your heels. And then if you feel right here, this could be the pose for you. Or if you feel good here, try to stretch your arms and reach for your ankles or your heels. And this, if this feels right, you can bring the tops of the feet on the ground, but don't lose that wall, imaginary wall that your hips are kissing. And then if you'd like, you can let go of your head. There's a, you make a pillow with your shoulders for your head. And we lift the ribs away from the earth and the shoulder blades together and we breathe, bringing the belly in. Opening the heart. Empowering the heart. And the last thing we will bring up is the head. So let's bring the hands to the lower back again. And then bring yourself up. The last thing will be the head. And then it's the head. Now bring the hands under the shoulders. And we will wiggle here. This one's really, uh, it's a beautiful counter pose. To just softly wiggle your hips, your spine. That's a very intense back bend. And you can wiggle your neck or you can shake your head or turn it in circles. And you can also pay attention to what happens with a spine when you move the hips right and left. There's like this little effect that it continues through the spine to the neck. So it's like a serpentine kind of movement. And there's a softness, good. So let's do the other leg. Left leg will come forward, stretching the right quad this time, coming onto the front of the right knee. And walk yourself up to your left knee and then bring the left he right heel to your butt. Hold your right top of the right foot with your right hand. And if you'd like, you reach back with your left hand to hold your foot as well. Now, tuck the tailbone forward and under and lengthen the upper body even more. Shoulders drawing back. And re remember, we're going to hold the breath a little. So first, we'll do a deep breath, belly in. And exhale, empty your lungs completely. Now, three breaths where we hold the inhale, breathe in. Chin is parallel to the earth, slightly down and back, Jalandhara Bandha, and exhale. Two more on your own. If you'd like on the exhale, your heel gets closer to your butt, if your quad is all right with that. And then slowly releasing that right foot down and walk yourself down to the inside of the right foot, either the hands there, or if you're flexible enough, you bring the elbows. And then let the head go. And you can hug your left knee towards your left shoulder. Surrendering. So whatever is challenging you the, in this moment in your life, it doesn't have to be what's going on in the world. We all have our own lives with our own stories. We can soften to it. The, the ego can surrender to it. So suffering a lot of times comes from 
from resisting something. So if we soften, we accept it, we take it in and we bring it closer because usually we want to push things away. Good, and then come back to hands and knees. And we're gonna thread the needle. So the right arm is gonna come under the left arm, thread it towards the left. The right shoulder reaches the earth. Keep the left hand exactly as it is with the elbow bent. And the right side of your cheek and your head is on the earth, not the cheek, but the head. And now press the left hand into the earth and feel that twist in the middle part of your back and a stretch from the right shoulder perhaps. Breathing and now let's draw that belly in as we fill the shoulder blades and the heart with breath. And let's come back to center inhaling and move to the other side. We thread the needle on the left arm the left shoulder comes down, the left side of the head comes down, and we use the right hand that's pressing into the earth to twist a little deeper. Feel that stretch maybe in the left shoulder, the middle part of your back. And the belly now draws in and we breathe into the shoulder blades. And we breathe into the chest. Amazing, and we come back up, inhaling. And stick it into down dog just for a nice full stretch of the whole spine after that deep back bend and that deep stretch, that deep uh, twist. Chin towards the chest. Take your sit bones up towards the sky as far as you can. And let's bring now the knees to the earth, toes touching, knees open into child's pose. Forehead to the earth. Allow your heels to, your butt to come close to your heels. Now just be with yourself, be with your breath. Nothing to do, nothing to accomplish. Feel the sensations around the heart, the shoulder blades. Good, and now let's come sitting up. And we're gonna keep the left knee bent and the right leg extended. So this is a bit of a twist and an extension at the same time. So pull the flesh from under your sit bones. Good. Let's take the arms up, inhaling. Now turn to face the right leg that's straight. So you feel automatically that twist happening in the belly. Take a breath. And as you exhale, lengthen over the right leg. So the tendency here is that the left shoulder will want to stay up. Try to bring that left shoulder down so both shoulders are balanced. And you can hold, you know, your ankle, your shin, your toes, whatever you can reach. And then if you're very flexible, you stretch the left arm forward and you grab the right, with the right hand, your left wrist. So that's going to help that left shoulder come down even more and lengthen the left side of the body. Now draw the chin towards the chest. And let's focus on the exhalations as we reach. We're getting closer to the end of the class. Really slowing everything down. Moving into a parasympathetic nervous system, rest and digest. Your spine is lengthening. Your breath is deep, your exhales are lengthening. Back of the neck is long. And now walk yourself back up. And we switch sides. 
So right leg comes in, left arm, left leg extends. And we take the arms up, inhale. So engage your left leg, especially if the leg is straight. If it's bent, that's fine. And then turn your body to face the left leg. Now lengthen over the left leg and grab hold of your ankle or shin or your toes, whatever you reach. And now make sure that right shoulder is descending and both shoulders are squared to the front. If you're more flexible, you can stretch that right arm and then the left hand will grab hold of the right wrist. Chin towards the chest as you lengthen your spine. See if you can anchor that right sit bone down to the earth as the spine lengthens from the crown of the head. Close your eyes and all you have to pay attention to is the breath. The thoughts are there. A couple more breaths, long exhales, inviting the body into our parasympathetic nervous system to relax, to restore. Now walk yourself up to center and bring both soles of the feet together. And just for a simple folding forward here, press your heels into each other, the outer edges of your feet into each other. And instead of rounding the back, look to lengthen the back. So you don't have to reach the earth if that's not what's Comfortable in your body, you can remain up, but the spine long. And then walk yourself back up. So to finish, you can choose to lay flat on your back or to use the pillows that I asked you guys to bring. So, place the pillows. If you have a rectangular pillow, put it like as it, just like the spine, in the direction of the spine. But if, if they're square, that's totally fine. And then make sure the head is on the pillows though. We lay it on the pillows and let the arms drop out to the sides. So your heart is being held by the pillows. Perhaps the shoulders are falling down on the sides of the pillows, keeping the heart open, perhaps. Depends on your pillows. And we're gonna do a little pranayama before we rest. So keep your belly in. Take a breath into the heart as we count to four. Hold the breath, we'll count to four. Hold your gaze at the heart. Exhale, four. Three more, inhale. Belly in. Hold the breath. Exhale, four. Two more, inhale. Hold the breath, the gaze at the heart. Exhale, and the last one on your own. Inhale. And exhale and let the pranayama go. And keep you now your awareness at the heart, feeling the prana 
the life force that's accumulated in the heart. Release the belly, release the breath. Keep your gaze at the heart. And now maybe you're feeling this prana as light or sensation. And see this light expand. So now it's expanding to the point where it's covering your whole body, this heart energy. And you're in a cocoon of your own heart energy. And your ego relaxes and surrenders here. Your body relaxes and is held here. You're holding space for all your feelings, all the emotions. And you feel held by your spiritual heart that is unmoved by the ups and downs of the human heart. Always open, always stable, always sustaining. The spiritual heart sustaining all humanity. Let go of any tension, any stress, any fear, any doubts. Let yourself be sustained here. Let yourself dissolve here, just like when you let go in a body of salty water. You dissolve. And you become the spiritual heart. And you feel your connection to the rest of humanity, the rest of existence nature, the planets, the universe, the galaxy, the elements, fire, wind, water, earth. This is the heart of everything in this existence. Allowing your breath to breathe you so there's nothing to do. Allowing the breath to find its own rhythm. Feeling that union with all existence. We're going to deepen into our breath now, breathing up and down our legs and up and down our torso. And I invite you to very gently bring yourself up to sitting. And then we're just going to fold over the legs very gently forward, stretching the back a little bit, the lower back.
feeling the back of the body. And then make your way up to sitting cross-legged. So we close. Take a moment to sit in silence with the hands flat on the knees, palms facing down. Shoulders relaxed. Even if things are intense in our world or in our own minds, finding that place of stillness that always remains untouched by the world and is always in unity with existence. So let's sit in that space of unsurpassed calm, of absolute stability and of union. The thoughts are there, acknowledge them, nothing to push away. Letting everything be as it is. Sitting and anchored from this place. Feeling the earth holding you. The breath is soft. Notice if there's anything other to let go of to become even softer, the shoulders or tension in your belly or the jaw. And notice now the breath breathing you in a deeper softness. Let's bring the palms in Anjali Mudra together in front of the heart. And we bow our heads towards our hands. And I invite you here to find any intention to close your night or to move into your sleep stage. Or any intention for the world or a prayer for the world, anything you'd like. And my prayer is that I can remain stable for the uncertainty around me and for others around me. The light within me salutes the light and the stillness within you. Namaste. And we bow all the way down to ourselves. And all the way up. Thank you for joining me. And let's see if I can turn this um, speaker on. I'm going to pause the recording.